like scratch solo verse. Despite his imperfections, this coin recently fetched $102.38 at Great Collections Auction. The 1931 D. Lincoln Sand is a common issue that is readily available in all grades through fully red gem. Struck in Denver, it boasts a mintage of only 4,480,000. But only notable variety for this issue is a minor but distinct double die verse. This 1931 D. Lincoln Sand graded MS66 Plus red by PCGS is highly sought after coin among collectors. The MS66 Plus red grade indicates a coin is in superb gem condition with full red luster exhibiting minimal imperfections its pristine state and vibrant coloration significantly enhances desirability and value this scent represents an important piece of numismatic history offering both historical significance and exceptional eye appeal it was sold for $8,161.88 was buyer's fee on july 7th 2024 this old penny, even in lower uncirculated condition, is worth hundreds of dollars. Grab your magnifying glass and let's examine it together. First, make sure your 1910 Lincoln cent has a tiny S mint mark below the numeral one of the date. Now zoom in and focus on the mint mark. If you spot another S protruding behind mint mark, then you have a highly sought after repunched S over S variety. This toned brown scent was graded MS62 brown by Anex. The so MS62 grade signifies that the coin is in mint state condition with no signs of wear, though it has developed a brown patina due to oxidation over the time. This grade represents a coin that retains its original mint luster but may have minor imperfections or contact marks. Recently, this intriguing piece sold for $725.62, including buyer's fee, at a great collections auction. The 1958 D. Roosevelt dime, so a record mintage at the Denver Mint, is the highest for any D. Mint Roosevelt dime up to that time. This issue was heavily saved by collectors and speculators, often in rolls and even in full canvas bags, reflecting the growing interest in uncirculated modern coins that surged from 1955 until the market crash in 1965. High-grade examples of the 1958D are relatively abundant, with many specimens certified up to MS67. Additionally, a significant number of these coins have earned the full bands designation, indicating fully struck horizontal bands on the torch faces, which is a desirable feature for collectors. Recently, a particularly attractive toned Roosevelt dime from this mintage graded MS68 FP by PCGS fetched $2025 at auction. This demonstrates a coin's strong appeal and the premium prices that top graded and visually appealing examples can command. Unbelievable, this 1982p Kennedy of dollar seemingly just another coin fetched an astonishing $2648.25 on July 7, 2024 at a great collections auction. So what makes this coin so valuable and coveted by collectors? The answer lies primarily in its mint condition. Graded MS67 by PCGS, this coin is notable for its high grade and scarcity in such pristine condition. Struck in Philadelphia, it features sharp details and luster surface, indicative of its mint state status, adding to its allure. In 1982, the US mint ceased producing half dollars for general circulation, which has significantly increased collector interest in these coins an ms67 grade signifies a nearly perfect coin with only minor imperfections making it highly desirable this specific coin is valuable addition to any high grade modern coin collection often commanding premium prices at auction due to its exceptional quality imagine having such a rare gem in your collection if you spot faint five on cheek of your 1966 Roosevelt dime, you could be holding a relatively valuable 10 cent piece. We are talking about the 1966 Roosevelt dime from the special mint set known as 5 on cheek or misplaced 5 variety. According to CoinOp, this variety was first discovered by Robert Lawson. While examining his 1966 SMS dime, he noticed the 5 on the cheek of the dime. Kim Potter from the Konica also examined the same die and confirmed the presence of 5 on the cheek. The origin of this error isn't precisely documented, but it's likely the result of die gouge. 
This particular specimen was graded SP66 by PCGS. On July 7, 2024, it found its new owner for $180. Imagine finding such a distinctive and valuable error. This is 1983 Lincoln Sand struck on a copper planchet, graded as AU55 by PCGS. The typical 1983 sand is copper plated zinc and weighs 2.5 grams. A transitional alloy mint error akin to its more famous 1943 bronze predecessor. A possible explanation is that a copper planchet became wedged in a hopper or a mint cart during early 1982 and was finally dislodged following year. A lightly circulated and moderately abraded mint green and chocolate brown example luster illuminates the legends. These, these highly coveted Lincoln scent was sold for $16,450. Thanks for watching this video till the end. Your likes, comments, and subscription are highly appreciated. Stay well and see you in the next episode.